What's up, bitch? Skidaro here with more Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to try something there. But anyway, in the last episode, we got two bros moves to use in the field. And in this episode, we're going to start by defeating this new enemy right here. This new enemy is the Elite Troopy, and I think it's one of the most annoying enemies in the game. Now you think the Troopies were bad, wait until you see what the Elite Troopies can do. Well, it didn't do them now, but what they can do is not only heal themselves, but they can also revive fallen enemies. Yes, if you defeat an enemy, it has the option to revive it. On the flip side though, if it revives it, it only comes back with half its HP intact, so that's good. It's better good. So now, just not use Dig Bros, but use Fire Bros and knock this guy down. He gets back up and says, Ah, oh, how did that happen? Yeah, they all say the same thing, so it's kind of pointless for me to say the exact same thing every time I knock down one of those things. Whatever. We just go in this pipe right here, and then appear under the sea! <laughs> yeah. Now there is one more enemy we can meet under the sea. And here it is right here! This is the Mecha Blooper! Uh, not so common enemy in the sea. It's a little, I wouldn't call it tough, but, you know, it's kind of tricky to fight. Well, I wouldn't even call it tricky to fight. It's pretty easy to fight. Okay, watch. It's pretty obvious who he's gonna aim for. And best of all, best of all yeah, is that he's weak to thunder. Unfortunately, when you attack him, when it's your turn, he launches his bullet bills. But here's the cool thing. When he launches his bullet bills, he's immobilized for a turn or so. So that is awesome. Yeah, he has to take a turn to reload. And look at that. He's defenseless. And what do we do to defenseless animals? Yeah, you can get the picture. Ah, where's PETA when you need him? Yeah. Well, I can use a PETA right now. PETA! Oh my god, why am I ta making jokes about that? Yeah, whatever. So we just come in here and get all these items. A super mushroom. Let's see. A who bean. And last but not least, a lot of coins. Awesome. So now we just go back out. Now the trick is to get to that pipe right now. There. Eh, to go <laughs> on dry land again. But how do we get up there? Well, let's read this and find out. Guahar Lagoon Bulletin Board. Water Spout. Sea floor volcanic activity causes heated water to erupt and stream to the surface. Open your arms wide and let the water hit you to be blasted up high. So yeah, basically what it's telling you to do is just use Spin Bros. If it wasn't obvious already. Yeah, I feel sorry for a person who doesn't get that. So now we just swim over here. <laughs> And I tr and I tried so hard to figure out this. I mean, it, I took so long to figure out how to do this. Yeah, how smart of me. And all that for a mushroom you saw. Yeah, that's lame. I like swimming in this game. It like sequence breaks stuff. Well, I would have called it secret sequence breaking, but whatever. And here I go just rambling on about crap again. Eh. So now we just go up here by using that move they use in Emperor's New Groove. I cannot believe I just referenced the Disney movie already. <laughs> yeah. But let's look at the map and see where we are. Okay, so we're right there next to a save block. Look at all this open area we had to explore. Man, I wonder where that bean star is. We're gonna find out. <laughs> okay, I gotta tell you guys something. I gotta tell you guys something. Okay. First off, just use our electric bros here. Or whatever the heck it's called. I don't know. So, the first playthrough I did with this game, I had no idea where I was going, so I was just wandering around the whole place, you know, just looking for stuff to do. And I can't believe I just walked into that. Whatever. So, you don't believe me that you can just walk through this thing? What? hi -ya! Okay, that was a good example. <laughs> yeah, you can walk through this thing! Okay, yeah, like, right there, you can walk through that thing. Yeah, they inquire you to use, uh, Fire Bros to do that, but you can just walk through this thing. Yeah, I don't know why I'm making such a big deal about it, but whatever. So we're just gonna run through here, or not. And Mario got to level up from that level, um, <laughs> battle, yeah. Alright, <laughs> look at that, HP and BP didn't get any increases. But we don't worry about those right now, all I want is the bonus to stash. Five, alright, awesome! 
All right, that is awesome. And look right here, a familiar face, wouldn't you say? Oh, holy crap. Yeah, four enemies right here. Now, the two want, uh, the guy in the back is none other than the Gritty Goomba. Nothing special about the one here, except that it is um, stronger than the ones in Teehee Valley. Enough said. So we'll just jump on him again. Wow, get a lucky. Now these enemies right here, they are Boomerang Bros. Yes, they are legitimately Boomerang Bros in this game. Now, their attack pattern's kind of weird. When the sparkle is in their right eye, they are attacking Mario, single or first. But And when the twinkle's in their left eye, they're obviously attacking Luigi first. See, like that. And also, they have the option to uh, attack, you know, just one bro or another bro. Yeah. So, what kind of person would I be except for showing you that, well, I'm not going to show you here because they're kind of strong against uh, fire. Yeah, forgot to mention that, right? Whatever. But I am going to show you the uh, new bros move for Luigi. It is Thunder Bros. Watch this. This is probably more of my uh, favorite one in the game. Because watch that. Not only does it do damage, but watch when he, uh, it's on attacking. Look, it also lowers his defense. So yeah, this one comes in pretty handy once uh, you get the hang of it. So just defeat this guy. Now that he has lower defense. And good night. So yeah, that's an awesome move. Now, there's a way over here you can go, but it's blocked by these rocks we can't break yet. We're going to come back here later and do it, but not right now because we don't have the equipment to do it. Yeah, whatever. So, now just talk to this sign right here. Guahar Lagoon Mysterious Items, Part 2. Spin Blocks. If you hit these blocks while spinning around, right round, <laughs> they'll go flying off in the direction you're moving. If they get stuck or disappear, just leave the area and return. So yeah, that sums it up right there. What they did tell you is that you have to use... Well, actually, it's kind of obvious that you have to use Spin Bros. Whatever. So you kind of think it's pretty stupid of me just to uh, go, go over here just to uh, just guess. Get this Chuckle Bean right here. Yeah, how smart am I? Am in it. And thanks to that unnecessary battle, we get a level up for Luigi! Awesome sauce! Look at all those level ups. We're just going to increase HP because we're going to start this cycle all over again. Three, not bad. Better than two, I'll tell you that. So yeah, we just go in this area and come back to this area. And look at that, it respawns the same area. Wow. How many times did I say area in that sentence? I think three, but whatever. So now we have the ability to climb up here, which is awesome because we like climbing stuff. And now we just come over here, we see a rally block, I'm going to ignore it because they're stupid. And look at here, there's supposed to be a bridge here, as you can see from that rock right there, but it's not here. What we have to do is go all over this island and fix it. Let's see, first come over here, you spin bros, uh, block that over there. And let's see, one more and get, make it go over there, yeah. But first, come over here, and look at this, a hidden block with boobing in it, which is awesome. How many times did I said awesome in this LP? I, I gotta tell, let me ask. And here's another boo statue. Let's see, just switch back, and use Thunder Bros again, and move it. And what will it do? Of course, but, rise rocks. Rise rock. <laughs> yeah, boy, bad grammar much. Yeah, and I got a question. How can rocks just float up in the uh, water like that? I thought they sank. Whatever, it's video game logic. I'm not going to argue. Eh. Oh man. Yeah, that's right. There's two more segments of the bridge we have to fix. So, just coming over here. Oh, look at that right there. See that boo statue up there? I don't know if you can like, see too well, but... Can't you see it's like kind of translucent right now that we're not looking at it for the first time? And yeah, that's something I noticed, like, you know, back way back when, when I was you know, just practicing. And yeah, wow, I dodged that with skillage! Whatever. Yeah, I'm not that egomatistic or whatever the heck you would call it. Not like, yeah, whatever. So we just press that switch, make an iron ball appear, and another switch appear. Enjoy, G10 seconds! Well, let's get the fire bros out. Not that, you idiot! 
Fire Bros in! Rush there! And just... Holy crap. I honestly thought I wasn't going to make it. And we just rise, raise those rocks. Yeah. Okay, so coming over here, see these three rocks in a row right here? The middle one has something to hold. Don't believe me? Well, look at that. So it does have some... So that does have some purpose right now. So all that for just for a chuckle bean. Yeah, chuckle beans are cool. We're going to need them later. I'm just going to tell you right now. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. Another chuckle bean bites the dust. Yay. So, you know, three of anything in a row, like rocks, starfish, or rocks. I said rocks twice. I meant... Okay, we get interrupted by this new enemy right here. Well, old enemy and new enemy. Now, those uh, fins popping out of the ground, that's a unique enemy right there. They could be one of two things. One being a blorp. A blurp. You know, whatever. Um, blurps obviously originating from uh, Yoshi's Island, I think. Or Super Mario World 2, as most people call it. And this other one. Holy crap! That is a shark bone. Which is weird, because sharks are made of cartilage, not bone. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, the bad thing about shark bones is that they can sometimes poison you when they bite you. And as you uh, see right there, I'm just gonna wait. Okay, that was a blurp. We defeated the shark bone. So yeah, as you can see, it appears as question mark, question mark, question mark. So it's kind of a hit and miss deal. Um, there sometimes may be three on the field, but it's a known fact that one of them, at, at least one of them, is a blurp. Well, one of them has to be a blurp for some reason. Let's just go down here and get a chuckle bean. Awesome. And just come over here in this area and get another chuckle bean. Awesome. And I'm pretty sure I'm just going to stop the video here. So next time on Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, we're going to be continuing exploring Guajara Lagoon. So see you then.